I think you want me to say the government. <laughs> <laughs> You're smart. My name is Mary Catherine. I'm from Richmond, Virginia. I'm visiting my big. I'm Tina. I'm from Arlington, Massachusetts, and I'm here to show my little around the town. <laughs> right on. And you guys said that it's your civic duty to vote in 2020, or just in general, I yeah, suppose. General. Why, why would you say that? Um, I took AP Gov in high school, and my teacher really ingrained that in us. We have the opportunity to vote, so why wouldn't you take part? Also, people like to complain about um, the results of something, but if they don't participate, then it's like you didn't, you missed your opportunity to have your voice heard. So you took advanced placement government That's right. in high school. That was pretty intense, US right? Government. Yeah. yeah. No. Okay. So what is government? And and I don't mean like by description, like uh, definition. What is government? Like the real definition. Or the fake definition, if that's what they taught you. They probably taught me a fake one, honestly. <laughs> Um, I think government is everyone having their voice heard in the democracy, so everyone is properly represented. So would you say the Russian government's oh, not a government? Okay, neat question. Um, so, see how you're, you're, yeah. you're getting a description, yeah, but I not think, a definition. I think government, how it should be, is not always how it takes place. Okay, but I'm going to hammer this, because this is, we're, still, we're still on the first question here. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, you want to take a shot? Are there. What is Come government? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. What, what, what is the definition of government? Um, the body of people and laws that are tasked with, um, like the creating the systems or keeping the systems we have in place to, I don't want to use the word govern because yeah. it's part of the word government, yeah, to, um, like, um, oversee the functioning of a, like a certain society or population or place. Okay, so it's really smart that you avoided the tautological yeah, yeah, definition yeah. there. She's smart. I'm like but people who govern other people. <laughs> 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 Governing. <laughs> That's as far as most people get. Yeah. But you, you took AP government and yeah. still you okay. don't have, you're still, you're still turning over the gears yeah, yeah, trying yeah, to figure yeah, out yeah. what's an actual definition, right? Um, and it was my first AP class, to be fair. I just kind of <laughs> took it to get into college. It didn't help me that much, but. <laughs> Good answer. Thank but, you. All right, but even, even, even with your definition, it's it's <laughs> right no no but the, it's that it, it doesn't it doesn't really say what is and what isn't government because yeah. it's if it's a, a group of people coming together mm -hmm. to, to make decisions that could be a club or a community yeah. or an association or an organization or, or, or a corporation any, anything else yeah. right mm -hmm. yeah. so you're still not defining government for yeah. me i think it's a hard definition though because it's kind of how we all have our different viewpoints and then there's different always governments. different yeah, there's always different people represented too. Well, that sounds kind of like a cop out. I mean, we use words, we should know what they mean, yeah. and yet there's this one big word that's, yeah, that's really true. relevant in our lives, and most people can't define it. What do you think it means? Oh, you're gonna ask me now. Is that what you're gonna turn on me? That is, Can we turn the table? Is it, oh, is it that, that just that quickly? <laughs> oh, well, geez, now I'm sweating. No, it's because it's because it's Boston in the summer. Yeah. Um, well, so here's here's the thing about government that is what most people miss and the reason why even if you take a class yeah. on government in high school they don't give you the proper definition because if you realize what government is then you'd see that we'd be better off without it oh baby Neat. because government is a territorial monopoly on the initiation of force now it sounds like a bit of a technical definition so you got to unpack it a little bit yeah, that was intense. first part's really Oh, come on, you took AP government? That's intense? All right. I've so, <laughs> ra random guy with a YouTube channel. <laughs> um, okay, so territorial monopoly, I mean, you know what that means, right? That it, ha it, it claims unique power in, in a geographic area mm -hmm. and the initiation of force, right? So, if, if you're acting peacefully, not violating anybody's rights, if I initiate force against you, I'm violating your self ownership, I'm doing something unethical. He's governing you. Exactly. I would then be taking, I would be claiming some ownership and control over yeah. you that really you have a right to for yourself. Yeah. So if, the, if, if, if I walk up to you on the street and put oh, a gun to your head yeah. and say, hey, you're going to give me a third of your income. Every paycheck, you're going to send me a third of your income or I'm going to start taking your stuff. And if you don't give it to me, eventually you're going to go to jail. I can't do that, right? Because I'm a citizen. But if I'm an IRS agent. Yeah, that entity can. So that's what makes government unique from every other organization that people try to separate when they, when, when they attempt to define it. So 
Should I take it? Oh, yeah. No, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been doing this a long time. It's cool. So does that does that definition make sense to you guys? Yes. Yeah. It's tough. <laughs> That's good answer. So you had never considered this before, though. Do you think it's kind of strange that you actually took an AP government class in high school and they never bothered to actually define the word for you? Yeah, no, I think it's weird. I don't know if I'm as much bothered by it, but I think it's an important thing that's missed. Right. Well, so if, it's, if, if, you, if you accept what I describe as the definition of government as a territorial monopoly on the initiation of violence, right? We say, you can defend yourself, mm -hmm. right? But you can't just go attack somebody the way a cop can say, well, you broke a law, so I'm going to put handcuffs on you, I'm going to detain you, or everything else the government does, mm -hmm. backed up by force. So why do you think this definition or this true nature of government is hidden from us? Um, because we just day by day just live under it and don't question it because we're like, oh, this is how I've always lived. Like this, These are the rules of like, especially here where we are in the U.S., like this is how, um, you know, we've lived our entire like mm -hmm. lives. So then people being like, it just takes a while and probably like development and maturity to be like, why do we follow the rules we follow? Why do we listen to people that we listen to? Why do we have the things we have in place? But it's like such a slow thing because you just grow up with it from day one. So you did a great job of answering that question from the perspective of the citizen, right? But from the perspective of the government, why don't they want you to know what government actually is? Because they have the power and then if we start to question it, things can turn not in their favor. All right, so one more line of questioning here oh, then ready. about, yeah, no, you guys are doing great with this. So <laughs> humility, honesty, integrity, open-mindedness. I love you guys. Okay, so if government is a territorial monopoly on the initiation of force, the question becomes then, is it ever okay? Is it ever justified? Is it ever helpful or beneficial for humanity to use violence against someone else who's acting peacefully? I'm not for violence in any way, so I would say no, which I think has become a bit of a problem in our society, people using violence in ways that they shouldn't. But I think also going off what you just said, I think a lot of citizens don't believe that they actually have the power to make change happen or that their voice doesn't matter, which I think is also why people don't vote. But in the end, that's what matters. So my answer is no, though. I don't so wait. Accept if government is a territorial monopoly on violence in that sense, initiation of violence, yeah. and you're totally against it, does that, yeah, yeah, yeah. doesn't that make you an anarchist? Oh, wow, that was a big word he threw at me. Um, nah, uh, no. Well, the word means no rulers, yeah, right? Like sense. no violence against I people and, and authority. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, no, not fully. Well, there's, there's, there's a different way of looking at this, right? That if you believe in peace, that human relations should be voluntary, right? That they mm -hmm. should be free of force or fraud or coercion. And that voluntarianism is actually the basis of, of what we know as libertarianism. The idea that we respect freedom, that you own yourself, mm -hmm. and that it's therefore wrong to use violence against you. So it, if that's the case, yeah. if, 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 if the whole world or the whole country was in on just this conversation, just like the last few minutes here, do you think it would change how Americans look at government? And do you think we'd be demanding some kind of change if we realized its true nature? I also think that it depends on like people feel like um, government and having these laws in place are actually what like stops that violence or stops people from having fraud or like et cetera, those laws that we have in place and those punishments that we like deem um, from when people violate the law. I think it's a hard balance because it's like, you're not anti-government because you'd be trusting that humans on their own, human nature would be to like not be violent, to respect others, to like not commit fraud, to not steal, to not whatever. And it's like, I don't know if people believe like that people could do that without a government or without laws. Like that's, I don't know, that's the question that I think, or like that's what's on my mind when we talk about things like that. So when you put it like that, it seems kind of obvious. If you want to minimize violence, if you want to minimize theft, you go, well, who's committing? the most violence? Who's committing the most theft and fraud? And the answer would be... I think you want me to say the government. <laughs> <laughs> You're smart. I can play that game. I can play that game. She's in high school, so she knows what she's talking about. <laughs> I, I, 
I don't know if I fully stand by that answer. Well, do you think things would change though in this country if, if if people just stopped and were challenged to to define government and, and and examine its true nature? I mean, I think so because we don't fully all know the definition of it, but I also think that that is what makes us kind of feel safe as citizens that there are those rules, even if technically that is the definition. And you know technically, it doesn't make us any safer. Right. Anyway, thank you guys so much. That was awesome. I really yeah. appreciate it. Thank you guys you. are great. Adam versus the man is made possible by people who care about freedom, like our Patreon supporters whose monthly contributions get them perks and exclusive content. Find out how you can help by going to patreon.com slash Adam versus the man.